Welcome to Beginning with Bloom's Teacher Basics. This video will focus on the main steps you, as a teacher, should complete as you are getting ready to use Bloom's for the first time. Bloom's is the one tool you need to communicate with your parents and students across cultural, technical, and communication barriers. Bloom's is available on a desktop or mobile app, plus can send notifications and updates through email, text, and even phone calls. Blooms allows two-way translations with over a hundred different languages. It also provides a variety of tools to communicate and coordinate with your class, including class posts, announcements, and individual group messaging, as well as a robust calendar where you can add events and even office hour parent-teacher conference signups. So let's get started. Today we will be walking through activating your Blooms teacher account, tips for navigating the app, setting up your personal profile notification settings, determining and understanding your classroom settings, and managing your contacts, the parents, students, and support staff who are in your classroom with you. The very first step to beginning with Blooms is activating your account. Now, if your school is not using Blooms Building Wide and you would like to create an account, simply go to blooms.com or download the app and create a new account. If your school or district is using Blooms, your account has already been created. You will receive an email to activate your account as a teacher. It will look similar to this one. Make sure you click connect on the red button to complete the account verification. Once you click connect, you will finish confirming your name, language preference, and also create a password. Click sign up. You will see some classes to join, so make sure to click Join Class to complete the activation process. Most schools will already have set up classes for you to join, but if you still need to create a class or an additional group in Blooms, click the plus class or group in the bottom left navigation menu. Click Create a new class or group. There are several types of classes and groups to choose. But for this example, I'm going to choose a class. Make sure to select the school that you are associating with this class. Add a class name. Select the grade that you are associating with the class. Select your role. There are a couple options you can turn on or off in your class. Then you'll click on the type of student access you need. You will be asked to go to your created course or you can go back to the main page in Blooms. Step two in beginning with Blooms is to understand the layout and navigation of the app. The first time you log into Blooms, you will notice a welcome message. This is a Blooms tip for you as a new user. This welcome card and message includes a checklist for you with some tutorials on getting started. We especially encourage you to take a few minutes to click Take Quick Tour. This quick tour will give you an opportunity to practice clicking through creating a post, a sign up, and more directly in Blooms. When you log into Blooms, you will see your Show for All Groups feed. This is where you can view a feed of all the posts, announcements, and updates from the classes and groups you are a part of. You can also use the left navigation panel to drill into any of your classes or groups to see specific updates and also create comments in these groups. At the top of the page, you will notice five icons. The first is updates or your newsfeed. The second is the calendar, then the media library. Next is manage and the last is settings. On the top right of Blooms, there's a bell icon. These are your notifications and contain any items you need to take action on. Next to the bell is the message icon. This is where you can send and receive messages from an individual or groups. If you downloaded the Blooms app on an iPhone, you will notice a few differences from the desktop version when using the app. In order to view your profile or drill into your classes, you must select the three horizontal lines in the top left corner of the screen to expand the navigation menu. Simply click back to return to the feed. In the top right hand corner of the app, you will notice the settings tool as well as your notifications icon. In the cover photo, you will see that people icon or manage icon where you can manage your parent and student roster. Across the bottom of the app, you can select to view and send messages, view and add calendar events, and add to your media library for the class. If you are using an Android phone, there are a couple differences to note. 
You will need to click the three horizontal lines in the top left corner of the app to expand the navigation menu. Here is where you can see your profile and also click into your class or classes. Click the feed to return to the main screen. You will see your settings and notification tools in the top right corner of the app. At the bottom of the app, you can navigate to your messages, calendar, library, and also manage, where you will manage your contacts and members in the class. Step three to beginning with Blooms includes making sure your own profile is set up. Click on the profile icon. If you haven't already, make sure you upload a profile picture by clicking on the option. After doing this, click Account Settings. There are several options under your account settings, but make sure that you click Notifications. Notifications allows you to set up quiet hours for times of the day and week you would like to silence notifications from Blooms. You can also decide what type of notifications you would like to receive, email, push, SMS, or text, and or robocalls. You can drill down and select more preferences if you desire. If you don't have a primary phone number listed here, you will need to add this to your account. Click the back arrow in the top left hand corner. Click edit phone info. Once you enter your phone number, you will see a success message. Now it is time to determine the settings in your class. Click into your class and click the settings toolbar at the top of the app. Click edit settings. You will notice several tabs, but for initial setup, we're going to only look at the first two. On the General tab, you can edit the name, grade, and change the color theme in your classroom. Under Class Options, you can turn on or off different tools in your classroom, including Health Checks, Behavior, and Student Portfolios. If any of these options are grayed out, this might have been turned off at the school level for Blooms for Schools users. You can also turn on or off the parent-to-parent -parent and student-to-student -student communication in the Messages in Blooms. Under Student Access, you'll notice that we have three different levels of student access in Blooms. No student access, which means you're just communicating with parents, elementary mode, and also middle to high school mode, where students will have usernames and passwords in Blooms. Click to the Permissions tab. Here you can determine the parent and student permissions while using the app. If you select that moderation is required for posting or commenting, the post will come to you through a notification to approve or deny before going public to the class. Click Done when you are finished. The last step to beginning with Blooms is to understand how to manage members in the class or group. Click into your class on the left navigation menu and click the Manage icon or the People icon within the class. You will notice four tabs, Parents, Students, Staff, and Subgroups. Most likely, your school or district has added the rosters already to your class, so you should see a populated roster. If you are wanting to add additional parents and members to the class, make sure you understand your school's plan, as some schools and districts prefer to sync these rosters directly from the student information system. In this case, you would want to contact your office with any needed changes to the Blooms roster. If you would like to add members yourself, there is a plus button to invite them via email, phone number, or through an access code. Once you have parents invited or joining Blooms, you will notice a few different categories in the roster. You might see verification requests, depending on your class settings. These are parents that have activated their Blooms accounts and now waiting for your approval. Make sure to keep an eye on these requests and approve and decline them accordingly. Next, you will notice that some parents might be in the invited stage. These are parents who were sent an invitation to join Blooms but haven't activated their accounts. Don't worry though, they are receiving notifications of the updates from Blooms, but you can always re-invite them to the account. The last group of parents include those that have activated their account. You can click on an account for more options, or if you would like to perform an action with a group of contacts, click the circle icon and select all. Now click over to the Students tab. If you're activating student accounts, this is where you will find the access codes to share with students. You might also notice pending verification next to students. Parents can approve it or you can also verify their status as a student by clicking the circle icon and verify students. On the Staff tab, you can add additional support staff as well as moderators to the class. 
Moderators will be able to approve parent posts and comments, depending on if you allow this in your settings. You are now fully equipped and set to begin messaging and posting in your Blooms class. As you begin using Blooms with your community, and if you wish to learn more about the tools and functionality in the app, or if you have any questions for the Blooms team, click the help icon in the bottom left corner of the app. This will give you options to view the support center. This is our searchable knowledge base full of helpful FAQs, guides, and resources. You can also click the view quick tutorial videos to learn about several of the main tools in your app. Lastly, there is an option to send a message directly to the Blooms team from your account. We are so excited to have you as part of the Blooms community. Good luck on beginning to engage your parents and students using Blooms.